Hey, what's up guys? My name is Tremaine, and back another Identity 5 coaching video for you guys today. Today, I am reviewing a more well-known survivor in the game, GS Smiley. And, um, yeah, yeah I, I can't wait to watch this. Uh, let's just hop right into it. I'm trying to get through these coaching videos as fast as possible, so let's see if I can help him. Let's see if he teaches me something. Let's see if he teaches you guys something. Thank you guys for showing so much love to the channel. I'm getting subscribers so much. I'm getting all the love. It really means the world to me, and I know you guys are improving from my video, so thank you guys for that. Let's uh, let's get right into it. Oh, he's playing AK-47. I review. This is one of the top feasters, if not the top feaster of NAEU. I reviewed his gameplay, and he's come such a far way. Like he is such a good feaster. I, I'm actually eager to see this. Run straight into the hunter. Um, that is not ideal. Uh, that's just super unfortunate, honestly. Look behind you when you're cutting a feaster. 100%. Like, some people gotta get in the tendency to look behind them, especially if it's a feaster. So, um, yeah, I know I know you're doing fine, but make sure to look behind you, especially when cutting a feaster. You ran through the pallet, didn't throw it down because you knew he'd swing. That's a good. That's good. Illusion, the tentacle, that's actually pretty good. Get to that pallet and vault it. He should tentacle this pallet. Unless he's out. Okay. I would have probably ran into a uh, hospital. Hospital, you're, that's your safe haven. You're probably just going to take a hit. Okay. Um, as a magician main, I would suggest don't always illusion the tentacles. What I would have suggested was take the hit from the tentacle, get to hospital, and you still have one illusion left. You can use that for the stairs or any like the, anything like that. But it's working, right? Nice owl. Nice pallet stun. You knew you you knew you could pallet stun because you have that owl. And uh, yeah, just transition to ruins. Wow, I would have done the exact same thing except I would have went to hospital transition to ruins. You went to uh, you went to middle open transition to ruins. So it worked. And you you get ruins. So this is really good. You transition to ruins after using two uh, illusions. You use them well. Just I would suggest maybe not use them for tentacles. You can probably loop that tentacle. Um. Also, be wary of where your teammates are decoding. Um, try not to bring them to the cipher, right? Try not to bring the hunter to your teammate's cipher because now he's chasing the prisoner. Prisoner doing a fairly good job. Threw down the pallet. Alright, sees Magician again, you know the drill, and now you got Kite, you don't know what he has yet, you assume, I would assume Blink by now, because I would have thought he'd patrol her, nice, you, you, uh, take the hit, but, nice hit by the Feaster, you take the hit, you transition, and, uh, yeah, you just loop, but I, I'm telling you, when you're kiting, look behind you, nice, nice throw down on the pallet, he still hasn't patrolled, which I don't know why, Get that speed boost. Ooh, ooh, that was a good tentacle. Ooh, ooh. Yes, now you're looking behind you. Yes. Honestly, it's a feaster. You can probably loop a little bit. Yeah. Don't throw the palace down just yet. You could have thrown down the palace, actually. Not thinking about that. But that wouldn't have really made a difference. Three Cypher Kite. It was a very good kite. You used your both wands, didn't get illusion shocked. And now he put. Oh, he's waiting to use the patrol for the save. And Gravekeeper counters it fairly well. Wow. This is, this is a solid team. It was a good owl. Owl made him transition to ruins, which made him kite three ciphers. Gravekeeper digs to avoid uh, the patroller. Now. Oh. Oh. That's the, that's the thing. That was a really good stuff by the um, Feaster. It's very hard to save a Magician. Uh, let me just make that abundantly clear right now. For all you guys who are going to say, Oh, that Grave Keeper got Terror Shocked. It is hard to save versus a Feaster. And it is hard to save versus a Magician. So if you combine those two, 
it is hard. Very, very hard. Uh, I feel for that Seer and Gravekeeper, but really good kite. Um, Cypher's popped. It was a, essentially a force Cypher kite. Um, my suggestion would you to be look behind you more when you kite. Um, try to use hospital more to your advantage when you're, uh, yeah. But what you did, what you did work, what you did, did do work. Um, yeah, that's my only correction. And also don't bring the hunter to ciphers. That is what I can suggest. Really good magician. I hope you guys did learn something from this. Let's move on to the next clip. Here we are on the clip number two. I'm pretty sure it's a perfumer, but we will see. Um, oh, but another feaster. Uh, don't you love kiting feaster? I sure do. All right, we have Autumn Leaf. What a pretty name. Wow. It just makes you at peace. I hear Autumn Leaf. That's a good build. It's a really good build. I hear Autumn Leaf, and um, I just, I'm at peace. You have Factory. You know Basement's there. Try not to die there, but you do have the stairs. So, um, yeah, let's see what you can do. You are a Perfume or Factory. This is pretty OP. Perfume. Take the hit. Perfume back. Vault the window. Nice. Get that speed boost. Drop down. Don't keep running straight. Drop down. Nice. Okay, yeah. Vault the window. I'd go left again. Nice. I would have just re-looped that, honestly. I would have just kept re-looping it. If you if you knew where the feaster was going, you could see it was going it was going right. You could have went left back into factory, gone up the stairs, looped. You could have done a whole bunch. Because factory's OP, but what you're doing is fine, what you're doing is fine. That's just my recommendation. Okay, okay, don't throw these pallets down. Don't throw these pallets down. You're looping very well. You're tight cutting very well. Just don't throw these pallets down. Nice. You're not throwing them down. You're just transitioning. Nice. Throwing those pallets down against a feaster, you'll get tentacled. I'd throw this pallet down. Oh, okay. I would have thrown that down. But I am a pallet spammer. Nice. Remember what you guys saw in Mirma's video on top perfumers like Paul. They perfume, then throw the pallet down so they don't risk getting hit. Um, you could always do that. Ooh. Why does he have excitement? Why does he have excitement? Nice perfume. I'm sorry. Nice perfume. Um, you're cutting away from ciphers. As I say that, you're going to my man. Oh, okay. It's uh, done. So you're fine. You're doing this three cipher kite. You didn't bring him to any ciphers. You used your perfume. You still have one more. Let's see what you can do with that. This is, that's where you would, my suggestion to be, would perfume and then throw the pallet down. Because they'll swing at the pallet. Hunters swing at pallets. That's what they do. So they swing, you get hit, you perfume back, you throw down the pallet down, you create distance. Wow. That was almost a terror strike. That was a 50-50. 50% 50 -50. 50 of the time, that would have been a terror strike. But what I'm trying to explain is, for all of you that uh, want to get better at perfumer, you perfume, throw the pallet down. If he hits you, you perfume back, you create distance. If he doesn't hit you, you still create distance because you throw that pallet down. But this tight cutting is really good. Just throw that pallet down. I agree. Uh, loop the tentacle, loop the tentacle, loop the tentacle. He didn't throw it down. Uh, okay. This is a pallet you don't want to throw down. If you throw this down... Oh, he's lagging, though. Oh, he is... He is lagging. You're taking a lot of 50, 50, 5 cypher kite. Wow. You're taking a lot of chances. Um, my suggestion to you would be play it safe. Uh, against very top tier hunters, they will tear shock you when they get the chance. So keep that in mind when you are kiting. Um, th like that vaulting of the window, that was a 50 50. That vaulting of the pallet, that was a 50 50. You've used your perfumes well. You're running through pallets. You're not throwing them down and getting hit, which is good. Loop the tentacle, loop the tentacle, loop the tentacle. That, should, that, that tentacle, should, okay, it hit you. Okay, I was about to say that should hit you. Um, gate is open. Can you get the gate? Can you get the gate? Really, really good. Really, really good. Um, my suggestion to you would be, you did look behind you while you were kiting. I noticed a lot of t uh, players don't do that, but you did. That was good. You used your perfumes. You used factory. I might have uh, I might have abused factory a little bit more. That is me, though. 
that's my cup of tea maybe it's not yours but you are a perfumer factory that is like broke um to just take less 50 50 shots like uh and loop tentacles a lot of those tentacles uh should have hit you but he didn't throw them down i think he was either lagging or he's new to feaster um but make sure to loop tentacles you are a perfumer and when you throw down pallets make sure to perfume throw it down first perfume throw down perfume back that's what you should do uh amazing gameplay i hope you guys did learn something from this thank you guys so much for watching i am trying to get through these as fast as possible i will be doing a live stream of these like i've said i will keep you guys up to date with that anyway guys thank you so much for watching have a great night a great day uh two amazing kites two amazing kiters i hope you guys do keep on improving i can't wait to see you guys in the near future um have a great night